Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And today I have a list of six fragrances, one really an honorable mention. I wanted to make sure that all the fragrances that I talk about in this video, you can easily get. The goal of this video is to go over fragrances that smell way more expensive than they actually are. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's get right into the list. So as I said in the intro, there was a fragrance that I consider an honorable mention. That scent is Banana Republic's Tobacco and Tonka Bean. Now a scent obviously smells way more expensive than it actually is. This stuff I was quite surprised by, really impressed. I'm impressed with the Icon line in general, really smooth blends, not harsh. You get like zero alcohol when you first spray this, does not smell cheap or overly synthetic, sweet vanilla tobacco. It, it's, it's pretty, in terms of how it performs and longevity and all that, on clothes, this work, this performs really well. I get about six hours, pushing seven hours in terms of longevity on this, which is pretty good considering what what you pay for it. It's not, I would imagine the oil concentration is not uh, that high, although it is, I believe, an eau de parfum concentration. Vanilla, sweet and fruity, slight tobacco, not a ton of tobacco. However, I do get, depending on when I wear it and how I wear it, sometimes I pick up more of that tobacco than other times so keep that in mind a lot of people compare this to fragrances like zara's rich warm addictive or Initio side effect and i can see the similarities in both however i think banana republic's tobacco and talk mean certainly stands on its own as an honorable mention feels of high quality smells of high quality smells great decent performer yeah tobacco and tonka mean banana republic So this first fragrance is one of my favorites from the house. For the longest time, I sort of avoided it, and I don't know why. I think it's OG predecessor. I thought, you know, maybe they're just too similar to own both. I was dead wrong. Scent I am talking about, John Varvedo's Vintage. This stuff is incredible. It's unlike anything I've smelled before. It's really masculine. It's almost, it's classified as a woody sheepra, but it's almost like a sort of a, a fougere, masculine fougere fragrance with an edge to it. It's a bit darker than your typical fougere. I have said in the past, I consider this sort of to be uh, almost niche quality. And there's a good reason for that is because of its uniqueness for one, its depth, it's, this has a million notes in it. And what's funny is I can't pick out many specific notes. There is a rhubarb note up top. I don't necessarily get a lot of rhubarb. I do get a sweetness along with that lavender and the woodiness. I just love this stuff. This is super versatile. This is timeless in my opinion. It's just an incredible scent. On skin, it really projects well. It really performs well for the first hour. John Vavados, they're not typically known for their performance. However, this one, I do get decent performance from. I get around six hours of longevity. And as I said, the projection's really good for about the first hour or so. But the smell, the smell is super addictive incredible stuff an aromatic woody with some sweetness later in the dry down i do get some sort of that suede leathery touch to it i'm a fan of the og john Vavados. i've talked about it plenty on this channel before and i think for whatever reason i thought that these you know based on notes and stuff i thought you know maybe they're a little too close there is a fig note in the og there's a lot more sweetness in the og uh yeah this this one i'm i'm really happy to have in the collection again smells way more expensive than what I paid for, what you'll pay for it. I'll be sure to link all of these fragrances. Definitely give John Vavados Vintage a shot. This next fragrance you guys have probably heard of pretty much will end up on most lists that include fragrances that smell more expensive than they are. And for good reason, it's fantastic and it smells more expensive than it is. Scent I'm talking about La Ligue's Encre Noir Sport. Now, as I've said in other videos, you truly have to like vetiver to like this. It's woody, it's smoky, it's a bit aquatic, it's rich and it has depth. That earthiness coming from the Haitian vetiver. There is some citrus up top. I don't get a ton of citrus. I do get some of the spiciness from the nutmeg. Cypress, lavender, it, it's almost like two cents in one where you get some freshness at first spray, but as this dries down, make no mistake about it, this is through and through a vetiver scent. You get the smokiness, you get the woodiness, 
and it smells of high quality. There are times when I've tested this off strip for video purposes and I've gotten a little bit of a pickle juice vibe in the, in the opening. I don't really get that on skin. When I spray it on skin, it's pretty much straight up what I get for the life of the scent, and that's vetiver. Longevity is just a beast. You're gonna get wafts of this all day long. I like personally wearing this in high heat, high humidity, rainy days. It seems to sort of evoke the mood that I'm feeling at the moment. Really heavy glass bottle, thick glass, and decent presentation for, again, a really cheap fragrance. I really enjoy this one. I think you will too, especially if you like vetiver and Cray Noir Sport from La Ligue. So this next one is sort of a well-known cheapy gem. Uh, gets compared to another really super popular men's designer fragrance. Scent I am talking about, Cremos Spice and Black Vanilla. Another high quality smelling scent for very little money. And you know, I have to add, Oh, smells fantastic in the air. Absolutely love this one. This one gets compared to Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. And I did a comparison video of those two. You can check it out here. I'll make sure I include that in the video. However, I do get a bit of a freshness when I first put this on up top. It's more of a freshness than I get from the Victor and Rolf. And the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme actually has a signature DNA, in my opinion, for that particular line. The only one that doesn't really carry as much of the DNA, in my opinion, is the Night Vision EDT and the EDP. I think those sort of go a completely different direction than the others in the line. But the others, Spice Bomb, Spice Bomb Extreme, even Infrared, have sort of this specific DNA of the Spice Bomb line. And you don't get that necessarily in Spice and Black Vanilla, but what you do get is that vanilla, cardamom, warm, spicy, overall just uh, comforting scent that you get from those. So you get the spiciness. I get probably a bit more, I would say, uh, vanilla than I do in Spice Bomb Extreme, but they are extremely close. You can test these next to each other and they are very close. So if you're looking for a budget alternative to Spice Bomb Extreme, without question, this is probably the best you're gonna get. And on its own, a fantastic scent. Projection, massive. For the first two hours of this, you can overspray this. So be careful with the number of sprays you do. This is gonna cut through the cold. This is ideally a cold weather scent. However, you could wear it in the fall and even springtime. I, th I wouldn't necessarily wear it in the summertime, but there you could get away with this on you know, cooler nights, uh, almost warm, I would say. It's just, it would, I would limit the number of sprays. As I said, cardamom, cashmere, wood, vetiver, vanilla, impressive for what you actually pay. And again, smells way more expensive than it actually is. Cremos, spice, and black vanilla. So this next scent, absolute steal in my opinion. Niche quality uh, through and through. Absolutely love this one scent I am talking about, Moschino's Toy Boy. This is gonna be a polarizing scent for some. Not everyone is gonna love this. Great atomizer, fantastic atomizer. Fruity Rose, aquatic, fizzy almost. It is, wow, I'm smelling this in the air. I wanna make this my scent of the day. It's just so attractive to me. It's so, uh, it's so different in my opinion. You have a sweet spiciness up top from the pink pepper and the pear. It, it it has the rose, but it's almost like a watery rose. Like imagine a rose growing with morning dew on it or something. It, it's, it sort of evokes that idea of a watery rose. It's not overly floral. It's not in your face. It's not powdery really. It's just, you get this beautiful aquatic rose along with the spiciness. And there's also some woodiness coming from the sandalwood. So later in the dry down, I get a creaminess almost, but that rose sticks around. The cashmere in this gives it almost this ambery sort of fuzziness. It's it's funny, it's, it's hard to explain and describe the feeling I get when I smell this. Longevity, all day. Uh, you're gonna get wafts of this all day long. I don't need to really spray heavy. I do about six or seven sprays and I'm good and this is gonna perform like a beast in the spring and summer is 
probably its ideal time to wear this. However, it's one of those scents that is safe for the office. You can wear it to work year round. I don't think this is as polarizing on skin and in your sillage and in your scent bubble. I've never been told, I've only gotten compliments on this. You know, if you're not used to smelling something a little different, you might have, this might be a bit polarizing, I, kind of a love-hate relationship with it or, or a love or hate relationship with it. I absolutely love it. Definitely give this one a shot. Give it a try, give it some time. Mosquitoes, toy boy. This list wasn't in any particular order, but I did want to save this one for last because I think of what I paid for this, this was the most surprising in terms of what I got. I've talked about it on the channel before. The scent I am talking about is Lamborghini's Millennials. Now, for one, it is a car related fragrance or car brand related fragrance. I get almost, I get a sort of almost vintage vibe to this when you first spray it. And I don't know if it's the bottle that's sort of, you know, lean, you know, pushing me in that direction, but from the bottle, you definitely get an 80s vibe. That sort of 80s barbershop beast mode type fragrance just in that bottle. It, the bottle itself reminds me a bit of the bottle for Louder for Men, I believe. But this scent is complex. It is rich. It is, some have said, niche quality. I would agree with that. The more I wear this, the more I consider this to be more niche leaning than your typical designer fragrance. It just is. It's something different. And you're going to recognize aspects of it when you first smell this. However, it sort of changes and goes in another direction. It starts off a bit spicy, a bit smoky and woody. There's some sweetness coming from the pink pepper. There is rhubarb in this, so it almost comes across as a bit of a barbershop fougere. It has anise in it, and I actually do get a good bit of the anise in the mid, and oh, it's just an addictive scent. I absolutely love it. This is, for me, a cleaned up guy. I think it's gonna work best on cool in cooler months. I just love this stuff. I, do, I, I don't think vanilla is an official note, but I do get some vanilla. And in the dry down, it becomes really woody and that smokiness sticks around. A lot of the spiciness that, that is at the top of the scent kind of dissipates and I do get a more woody, slight sweetness and smoky dry down, which I'm happy with. I, I really enjoy the evolution of the scent. And for what I paid, I mean, it's a steal, an absolute steal. Uh, performance about six hours on my skin not a massive performer however it does project really well for like the first hour or two smells way more expensive than it actually is which is why it made this list lamborghini millennials let me know in the comment section below what fragrances you guys consider way more expensive smelling than they actually are i'd love to know if you like what you saw today please be sure to like comment subscribe share this video hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever i upload new content but until then, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.